Hi everybody, this is Julian from Hugging Face. A lot of you have been experimenting with OpenAI models in the last year or so, and some of you have moved those models to production. But as you've probably figured out by now, open source models have a lot of benefits compared to those closed source models in terms of privacy and security and cost performance and scaling. So to help you migrate your applications from OpenAI models to open source models, I will do two demos in this video. The first demo will be based on inference endpoints, our own model deployment service, and I will show you how you can easily use the OpenAI client library with the model deployed on inference endpoints. In the second demo, I will start from an open source model deployed on an Amazon SageMaker endpoint, and you will see how you can easily use the OpenAI messages API with that endpoint. So both techniques should help you adapt your applications to open source models and enjoy all their benefits. Enough talk, let's get started. If you enjoyed this video, please consider joining my YouTube channel and I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button and give me a thumbs up. Also, uh, please enable notifications so that you won't miss anything in the future. And last but not least, uh, why not share this video with your colleagues or your social networks because if you enjoyed it, chances are someone else will. Thank you so much for your support. Let's start with the first demo. So here I'm going to deploy uh, Llama 3 8 billion, the uh, instruction tune version on inference endpoints. Okay, so starting from the model page, uh, you can just click on the deploy button, select inference endpoints, and this time around, why not? deploy it on GCP. So let's just go grab this one, zoom in a bit maybe. I'll select the instance type, select the protected security level to enable the uh, token authentication. And that's really all we would have to do. So we could click on create endpoint. I've showed you um, this a few times before. But we could also use the API, and I don't think I've showed you this. So um, there's an example here where you can use curl, and uh, if you want to see all the parameters, uh, you could uh, do that. Uh, or you could use the proper Python API, and this is what I'm going to show you this time around. Okay? Um, so this is actually based on this really nice blog post by my colleague. So as always, I would recommend reading that. Um, so what am I doing here? I am installing the Hugging Face Hub API, which is the one I need for the Inference Endpoint API. I need the OpenAI library, because uh, that's how we will invoke the model. And, well, you can ignore this. This is uh, SageMaker being weird and insisting on this particular version of Pydantic. Anyway, um, so once we've done that, we can just start running cells. Okay, uh, I need to log in to the hub, right? Um, in order to, uh, well, have permissions to create the endpoints. So I just need to go to my settings, grab my access token, and come back to my notebook and log in. Okay. So now we are logged into the hub and we can call hub APIs. So next we're going to create the endpoint. And uh, well, this is the uh, create inference endpoint API, which is part of the uh, uh, package we just installed. So nothing really strange. You will see the same parameters that you uh, would see here, <laughs> obviously, right? Or you would see in the curl um, API call. So endpoint name, uh, the model ID on the hub, the framework, the task type, and I guess the only ones you may want to tweak are these, um, the platform you want to deploy on, and the security level. So here I am deploying on GCP, US East 4 region. I am using um, an L4 instance type, and instance size is X4, okay? If you're curious about all the available instance types and their pricing, uh, this is the page you should go to, right? And the parameters you see there are the ones you can pass to that API, okay? And then the security level, so again, protected, which will protect the endpoint with a token, okay? 
and the rest is just uh, input length and max total tokens, etc. And I did not invent those. These are the default settings uh, you would see in the configuration. So if you don't know where to start, this is a good place to start. Okay, uh, so once we have that, we can just run that cell. Okay, it's gonna take a few minutes uh, and we have a waiter, which is a convenient way to know where this is complete, right? Uh, so let's just run the waiter. And, um, and once this is complete, uh, we'll be able to invoke the endpoint. Okay, so see you in a few minutes. After a few minutes, the endpoint is ready to go. We can see its name. Uh, it's URL, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So let's continue here. We will need uh, again a hugging face token to invoke this endpoint because we did set the security level to protected. Uh, you only need a read-only token, right? Uh, and obviously, I will recycle this one right after the recording. So uh, we have the token, uh, and we can pass the endpoint URL and the token to the OpenAI library, okay, which we installed here. Okay, so that's the, the official OpenAI client. And once we have the client, obviously we can invoke it and we invoke it using the OpenAI messages format. Okay, uh, so the system prompt and the user prompt. Okay, super simple. Uh, and we just need to pass the model here uh, to uh, TGI, right, which is the inference server used by inference endpoints. Okay, so we'll use streaming and we'll just uh, stream the answer. Let's see how that goes. All right, pretty cool. So why are transformers better models than LSTM? And this is what Llama 3 thinks about that. So that's what it takes to switch from OpenAI models to uh, an inference endpoint running your favorite open source model, right? Very simple. When you're done, uh, please don't forget to delete the endpoint. Uh, and obviously you don't want to leave that thing running for no reason and, uh, and get charged, okay? So don't forget to call delete. So this is demo number one, uh, the OpenAI client with an open source model running on inference endpoints. Let's switch to the second demo. And this time uh, we're going to deploy another model. Uh, I picked uh, Zephyr uh, 7B uh, Beta. We're going to deploy it on a SageMaker endpoint. Um, and we're going to see how we can invoke it with the OpenAI uh, messages format. Okay. This time around, we can't use the OpenAI client because um, SageMaker endpoints require uh, specific authentication um, based on uh, AWS signatures, which obviously are not implemented in the OpenAI client. So maybe somebody at some point will add that. I don't think so, but one can dream. So the next best thing is just use that uh, OpenAI messages format directly on the endpoint. So let's see how that works. So we've seen this uh, a million times. Uh, you can go to the model page, click on deploy, SageMaker, and you see the code snippet to deploy that model on SageMaker. Uh, here, this is the code for a GPU instance, which is the one I used, but don't forget, uh, you could also give uh, Inferentia 2 a try and see um, if you are getting more uh, cost performance out of that, and I think you would. Anyway, that's the code snippet. That's what I started from, and that's what we see here. Okay, so call deploy on a small GPU instance, wait for a few minutes for the endpoint to come up, and then uh, we can run inference, and you see this is really exactly the same format, because obviously it is the OpenAI uh, messages format. Okay, so that's the body of my uh, of my request. And I will just uh, send that to the endpoint. So here I'm using the SageMaker SDK for simplicity, but if you want to use, uh, you know, the requests uh, Python library or really any other library in any other language, right? It doesn't have to be Python. That would obviously work, right? The SageMaker endpoint is an HTTPS endpoint. 
and you just need to uh, you just need to pass uh, the body and and that will work. Okay, so let's try that. And here we're doing synchronous inference, so we're generating uh, the full response and then printing it. So it's going to take a few seconds, and then of course we'll try streaming inference. So you see, once again, uh, if you are uh, using that format in your apps, um, the only thing you need to do is, um, well, just switch that uh, HTTP request from OpenAI to your SageMaker endpoint, and uh, and it will just work the same. Right? Uh, here, by the way, I'm showing you SageMaker, but it would work with TGI uh, anywhere. Okay, so uh, it would work on a on uh, Google Vertex uh, because we use uh, TGI there as well. Um, so that's TGI behavior, right? Not, not SageMaker behavior. Okay, so let's see. We do see the response, right? On why transformers are more interesting than LSTMs. And we see the, uh, yeah, the OpenAI output format, okay? Which is what kind of expected. Okay, what about streaming? So we can do streaming too. Uh, let's just uh, reset uh, the deserialization to streaming, okay, instead of just uh, JSON, okay. And then we have this utility function, which you've seen in a few other videos, and I borrowed that from uh, this nice post on the AWS machine learning blog, okay? So feel free to go and read that. And that helps us um, iterate on the streaming object returned by the endpoint. Okay, so let's just use that. And uh, and this is how we grab each token and uh, display it. Okay, so you may need to adapt this from one model to the next because the stop token could be different, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But so here for for Zephyr, uh, this is uh, working nicely. Okay. And now let's try that again. So same body, only difference is uh, I'm setting streaming to true. Okay. Invoking the endpoint. Okay, so the response obviously is a streaming response. So I, I just see the streaming object here. And once I start iterating on that streaming object, I should see, oh, it's fast, yeah. <laughs> I should see the streaming answer, right? There we go. And let's try that again. Scroll quicker. Okay, here we go. Looks like streaming now. Okay, so once again, um, your application code shouldn't be uh, impacted by the by the switch from OpenAI to uh, to open source models. Um, just remember to set model to TGI, but the body and everything else will be the same, right? And at the end of the day, it is still an HTTPS query. And as always, once you're done, please don't forget to delete the endpoints and avoid unnecessary challenges. Okay, well, that's really what I wanted to show you. Um, so give that a try. Uh, if you're uh, hitting some uh, cost performance or scalability walls with uh, OpenAI models, um, I would really recommend that you look at open source models. You know, they're really... Uh, good ones uh, 7b 8b uh, is uh, is really the, the the sweet spot for a lot of enterprise applications so you know llama 3 zephyr uh google gemma and um and and all, all the ones that are coming soon uh, are going to be really interesting okay so give them a try and uh tell us what you think so i'll see you soon with more content as usual and until next time keep rocking